Hello everyone, welcome to the second video of frequently asked questions in pharmacovigilance interview. If you didn't saw the first video, please check the description. So let's start. Today we will discuss the most frequently asked definitions in pharmacovigilance interview. So the first one is. What is serious adverse event? Serious adverse event defined as any untoward medical occurrence that at any dose results in death of the patient. Is life threatening? Requires inpatient hospitalization or causes prolongation of existing hospitalization. Results in disability. Disability can be temporary or permanent. May have caused a birth defect in newborn babies if mother took drug during pregnancy. This birth defect also called as congenital anomaly in medical language. Which is medically significant? Medically significant is a condition which requires intervention to prevent permanent impairment or damage to the patient. After this answer next question might come. What is life threatening in the definition of serious adverse event? Answer is life threatening is a condition that arises due to an adverse event in which the patient was at risk of death at the time of the event. In short, it is a critical condition that needs emergency medical attention. Now move to next question. What is mean by seriousness criteria? All parameters which we have discussed for serious adverse events like death, life-threatening, hospitalization or prolongation of hospitalization, disability, birth defect or congenital anomaly, and medically significant, which is also called as important medical events. This all are seriousness criteria for any event to be considered as serious. For any event to become serious it should qualify at least one seriousness criteria from this list. Please note one event may have multiple seriousness criteria. Now move to our next question. What is causality of event? Answer is causality is the relationship of reported adverse event with drug. For example, after taking drug, patient experience difficulty in breathing. If as per medical knowledge of doctor, chances of drug causing event, breathing difficulty, is high, then drug to event causality is considered as suspected. And, if as per medical knowledge of doctor, there were very less chances or no chances of drug causing breathing difficulty then, drug to event causality is considered as not suspected. Next question is, what is labeling documents means in pharmacovigilance? Answer to this is, labeling document is a list of adverse events or side effects expected or listed with the use of any drug or medicinal product. Labeling documents were also called as reference safety information documents. So do not get confused. Now we will see what all types of labeling documents exist for any product. Answer is for all marketed drugs or drugs which have marketing authorization in any country must have company core data sheet in short CCDS. This is a global document. Second labeling document is summary of product characteristic in short SMPC. This is a European country specific document. Third labeling document is United States Prescribing Information. In short, USPI. This is United States country specific document. Fourth labeling document is Investigator's Brochure. In short, IB. This document is used for reports received from clinical trial sources. There were some other country specific labeling document as well, based on country's specific guideline. Now we will discuss which document we should use for labeling any serious or non-serious adverse event. If we received any adverse event report for any drug which is in clinical trial and not yet marketed. In this scenario, we will use investigator's brochure for labeling of the event. And if we received any adverse event report for any drug which is available in market. In this scenario, we will use CCDS, SMPC, USPI, etc. for labeling of the event. If event is reported in investigator's brochure, then that event is expected event. And if event is not reported in investigator's brochure, then that event is unexpected event. However, if event is reported in CCDS, SMPC, USPI, etc., then that event is listed event. And if event is not reported in CCDS, SMPC, USPI, etc., then that event is unlisted event. So terms expected and unexpected, used for clinical trial report, which means, for the drug which are not yet marketed. And terms, listed and unlisted, used for other than clinical trial reports, which means for the drug which are in market. 
Such reports are also called as post-marketing surveillance reports. Let's take one example to understand listed or expected and unlisted or unexpected events in detail. If we receive the report of drug X causing fever in a patient, then we will check for the event fever in reference safety information document of drug X. If reported event fever is present in reference safety information document of drug X, then the event fever is considered as listed or expected. And, if reported event fever is not present in reference safety information document of drug X, then the event fever is considered as unlisted or unexpected. The next important question in interview is, what is SUSAR? Mean SUSA. Full form of SUSAR is, suspected, unexpected, serious adverse reaction. Generally, this term used to refer to an adverse event that occurs in clinical trial subject, which is assessed by the sponsor or study investigator. To understand the concept of SUSAR, let's look at this example. After taking drug, if clinical trial subject experience any adverse event, which is serious in nature, which means seriousness criteria can be death, life-threatening, hospitalization etc. Causality of the event as suspected or related with the drug. And expectedness of the event is unexpected, as per reference safety information document of drug. If this three criteria meet by any event then that event qualifies for SUSAR. That's it for today. If you like the video please share with your friends, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.